All right, uh, welcome to my the second part of my little tutorial series here on how to build uh, your own custom puppy from my uh, puppy base, my VR chat puppy base. Um, I'm going to go over how to essentially build uh, something from the ground up. Uh, I made it as easy as I possibly could, um, but I'm making this tutorial video in case uh, people need some extra help. So uh, we've got a bunch of folders here in the puppy base PC uh, main folder, and the second folder is going to be what we're mainly going to be working out of. Uh, I, I named it build a pup. Um, first thing we should do is there is this prefab here. Um, I'm just going to drag it into the hierarchy, and that uh, automatically sets it to the origin point, which is zero zero zero. Um, Next thing uh, we're going to do is we're going to take a look at these other folders. Um, I've organized everything into ears, hair, and tails. Um, so that's a bit self-explanatory. Um, so let's go into the ears here. Um, there's a few different kinds. Um, so what we want to do is we're just going to uh, drag them into the hierarchy. Um, I'll pick out... There's only one hairstyle for now, uh, but there will be more coming out in the future. I'm just going to pick out some parts here. Alright, so I chose uh, this curly tail, uh, this these this ear style with one of the ears floppy, and I put the hairstyle, uh, the little hair tuft on top as well. Uh, if you if you click through these, you're gonna see that I've actually included the dynamic bones and their settings here, so everything should be good to go um, from that standpoint. Um, you won't have to be doing much with the dynamic bones, but I will go over uh, what you can do if you want to be able to interact with them. So uh, once you have this, you're gonna be thinking, oh well, that's that's all there is, right? Um, no, actually, because we have to parent uh, the parts to the armature. So we're going to go down here um, into the, the blank, and we're going to uh, navigate into the armature here. I'm just going to um, expose all these bones here. These are all the bones of um, the rig, basically. We don't need that. Um, so what I have this example for is for you to reference uh, uh, so you don't get lost. Um, uh, all of the parts are bound to the correct position on this example. So if you don't know what you're doing, uh, just take a look at the armature here um, and just copy it. It's important that you parent it to the correct bone because some of these parts have animations and the animations will be broken if uh, you bind it to the wrong bone or something. So it's it's a little bit important that you get this right. So the tail, I'm just going to bind it to the hips here. Uh, the hair tuft and the ears are going to both be going onto the head. Um, at this point, uh, you can go ahead and apply your materials if you have custom materials. Um, I did not prepare custom materials, so I'm just going to grab some materials from here. Uh, I'm just going to throw on random materials here. Uh, I, I don't even have correct materials for this ear, actually. Oops. Uh, that's in the... I, I believe I used it in the DLC, though. Uh, Shiba. I'm just going to grab... Uh, nope, the wrong one. Here we go. Right. Um. Just imagine that this is uh, a character. I don't have materials, but yeah, that that is what you would do if you had um, uh, your custom materials or something. Um. Next thing that you can do here is you can uh, customize the body shape. I already uh, went over how to do this in the previous video, but uh, if you did not look at that or you missed it. Uh, essentially, you're going to go into the body mesh, and there's going to be uh, the blend shapes here. So you just click on this arrow here to expose them all. Don't touch any of these. Only use the customization blend shapes here. 
that I've uh, made for you. Oh, let me move my head. Just just these. Everything else is used in the animations. Um, it'll probably break your avatar if you touch them. So I would appreciate it if you didn't. So um, so yeah, you can customize from here. Um, they don't have to be zero or one hundred percent. You can um, uh, say you want you want them to be chunky, but not that chunky. You can leave it at a fifty-two point nine, and it will be fine. Um, yeah, uh, that is customization. Oh, and um, the last thing that we should do is hook up um, the colliders to your dynamic bones so that you're able to interact with them. Um, Okay, so I put uh, colliders in both of the paws and in the head. Uh, the head collider really only, it's really only useful for the ears that are like very floppy. Uh, so the beagle ears and like the, the two floppy ears mostly, just so that they don't like uh, clip into your head often. Uh, otherwise, uh, you don't really, you don't really need that collider too much. Um, but it is fun to play with your dynamic bones, so I will show you how to hook up those colliders. Uh, so the tail, uh, I put the colliders in both of the hands, so we're going to navigate into the shoulders and down into the hand. And we want both of them exposed here so we can easily grab them. So the curly tail, uh, there's only one, there's only one bone chain here in the dynamic bone thing. So we're going to go, uh, let me move myself actually. There we go. All right. So, uh, we're going to go down here into the colliders. Um, and I've already, uh, told it that you need two colliders, uh, for this cause one for each hand. So we're just going to drag the hand, uh, left and the hand right into those collider spots. And, um, yeah, uh, if you have full body, you should be able to turn around and uh, play with your tail at that point. We're going to do the same for the ears. Uh, the ears have two because there's one bone chain for each ear. Uh, so we're going to do that for both of this, both of these ears here, uh, both the hand left and the hand right. And again for the other ear. All right. And for the hair tuft as well. And there we go. That is it. That is completely it on how to uh, create your own pup from a blank uh, preset. Um, everything in the VR chat description is already filled out for you. I will say um, that if you're having problems in VR chat with your arms T-Rexing, where they're sort of bunched up at your side and uh, you're sort of in a perpetual uh, sort of like you know, T-Rex arms, um, then you are going to have to move the viewport in Unity, which is right here. Uh, I've set it to 1.6. It sh Technically, it should uh, fall right in between your eyes. Um, but if you're having that problem with your arms, um, then you should move the viewport down into the muzzle. So uh, let's just bring it down a little bit. You can you can play around with this, see what uh, works for you. Um, somewhere around there should be fine. Um, I will say that the new uh, IK beta fixes this, so uh, this probably will be a moot point in a month or two, which is a good thing. But um, I just wanted to go over that in case anybody was having issues with that. Um, but yes, uh, in the next uh, video, I will be going over what to do if you do not have dynamic bones, don't want to buy them, um, etc. It's pretty simple. Um, it's just a matter of deleting the dynamic bones, uh, the dynamic bone scripts off of your avatar. But yeah, um, from this point on, you can uh, simply go back into the control panel. Uh, we're going to hit the blank one, which is our little corgi guy here. And uh, you'll be able to build and publish for Windows. Uh, I'll, I'll, I'll do it once to show. Um, yeah, it, it's going to take a couple seconds, and I'll be back once uh, it's finished loading. Alright, um, at this point we can upload here.
Uh, you can name it. Um, wow, I cannot spell tutorial description. Yeah, you can put anything in this description. Um, some credit would be nice, just like a simple uh, avatar by Skip4D. Would be nice, but not necessary. Um, I do ask that you always uh, set your sharing to private. Uh, just so that other people can't uh, clone the avatar. Um, I am a solo indie uh, artist slash game developer and I appreciate every sale that uh, I get so that would just help me out a lot. Um, image. If you don't know you can move this uh, go back into your scene view here you can move this camera I don't know why it automatically sets the field of view to 60 because that's disgusting. I set it to 45. Move that camera up real close. Get real close. Um, clear flags. You can set this to skybox if you have a pretty skybox. Otherwise, a solid color is just fine. Uh, I'll pop this out right here. You can change the background color to whatever you like. Uh, you can pick the eyedropper and freaking eyedrop this if you wanted to. Um, yeah, go back into your game. Uh, there's a pretty little picture for you there. And uh, hit upload. And that's it. Uh, thank you guys for uh, buying uh, the avatar pack. Um, if you haven't bought the avatar pack, the link will be in the, the description. Um, yeah, uh, there's going to be more tutorials for uh, several of the other um components of the base and thank you so much and I hope you have fun with it. Bye!